All right, what I wanted to check when we left over there is I seen quite a bit of small boats, John boats. There's this John boat right there. And you can see it just coming in right now. And uh, he launched from Cal Park. I think it's 25 or $27. There's four boats and four trailers over here. This is one of the launches at Cal Park right here. What I don't like about this one is you see the little brake wall? There's no brake wall right here. And over there, it's a little bit calmer because the little brake wall is right there. So the waves ain't coming straight in. See, the boat's almost completely uh, sitting there flat. And there's more waves over at this launch right here. So I'm going to go ahead and watch these guys pull their boat in. And then uh, this is uh, Calumet Park uh, around 95th, 90, yeah, about 95th Street is the entrance to Calumet Park. This is $25 or $27 to launch here. And there's four trailers uh, sitting there. So there's four boats in the water from here to get into the entrance of the Calumet. Uh, I don't know what it is. What's it called? The Little Calumet River? The Cal not, it's not the Calumet River to go downtown. Oh, I'll figure out what it is and let you know. All right. I'm just sitting here. I'm sitting here because I'm going to watch them pull it in to see how much of their trailblazer goes into the uh, water in the back end of it before they uh, are able to hook up. But this is the Calumet River, not the Chicago River. look for that back tire to see how far that back tire goes and I got a two-wheel drive I don't got a four-wheel drive I don't trust that when you just put it in park and your back tires are already in the water <laughs> there you go Let's see if you get it on there he should be able to because the the front roller is not in the water but the rest of it is that's what I'm saying when the waves go no it's not see so yeah, that run big running start he's gonna get yeah that's what I that's said that's gonna go right on there he had to muscle it up there Pretty much, he's about maybe a foot and a half off. There he goes, he's on there all the way up. The uh, truck, though, is you see the water up to the doors. See that? Yeah. The water's up to the driver's side door, really. But it is a windy day, it's not a calm day at all.
see they're in the water getting in the truck. That's the scary thing though, you know, when you when you're that far in the water and you, there's no foot on the brake, your front tires ain't locked, it's only your back tires that are locked. No tire spinner, no nothing. You, they got it out really easy. Okay, well, that's 92nd Street and Cayman Avenue. The guys got the little John boat, and they were able to get it out really easy. Uh, they backed all the way up into the water. Where the water was like with the waves coming up to the uh, door front door of the car, but they were able to hook you up and get it out no problem. One reason that I hate putting the back tires of the van when I'm pulling the boat out into the water is because uh one time it wasn't even really steep it was a little bit more shallow and the back tires hit some algae and man i just felt the backs just sliding ever so slightly but i had to freaking really gun it because the uh, man that algae just makes it slip so much and man that's one of my fears look on youtube about having a vehicle just go back into the water so they yeah, packed that trail in my van's two-wheel drive rear, rear wheel drive so those are the two that are in the water on the LG. So that if that trailblazer was four wheel drive, you know, if there's still two in the dry part, you'll be able to get out. But in the same, you need somebody to stay in that vehicle because when you put your brakes on, your front tires have the, the locks on them. If you put it in park, your back tires are going to lock. But if you're, if you're on a hill, your back tires are locked. And if those are what's in the water, you're going to slide backwards. Either way, that's just my thought. Talk to you later. Bye.